Great, delighted to be here and uh, see lots of uh, friends and uh, just uh, put a word in for York. Um, when I finished my term at uh, OPA, I knew I wanted to continue to, to work with students and be energized by students. And I really want, it was important for me to find people that I really wanted to work with. And I went to York because of Jose and Mark, um, their knowledge, their dedication, their influence, uh, and their inspiration to, to young people, my son and, and his, uh, his wife, who's expecting next week, um, both referred to Jose as being the best prof they ever had. Um, and uh, so I'm really proud to be part of the, the York community. Um, I have an opportunity to, uh, have had opportunities to introduce many people in the past, and, and they all have um, bios that I can usually circle one or two things and say that, that is that person, and uh, I cannot do that. Um, so I'm going to pick a few things from NS bio because it, I, I'm sure you all have heard a lot about her. But there's a theme I want to particularly focus on. She was, of course, the, the president of Home Depot, um, grew it from 19 stores to 180 stores um, uh, over a period of uh, five years. She, uh, she uh, was responsible for Home Depot's entry into China. Um, she has a really interesting background. She's uh, in the Canadian Marketing Hall of Fame. She's the uh, or Officer of the Order of Canada. She's on the co-chair of the Governor General's Leadership Council. Um, she's the Chancellor of uh, Cape Breton University. I, I could go on and on, but one of the things that really uh, is most interesting that isn't in this bio, but, but I know a bit about, um, about Annette because we're on a board together, is she is really exceptionally good at tr spotting trends. Before she went to Home Depot, many of you may not know, she was uh, the, uh, 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 a co-owner of Michaels of Canada. And the interesting story behind that is that she spent some time traveling through the U.S. and she identified a retail trend in the U.S. And this is quite a few years ago with the development of large big box stores like Michaels. And she saw, and it was not in Canada, and she said she took this idea, brought it up to Canada. Um, Michaels went from, um, from uh, uh, she opened 17 stores in 26 months. Um, uh, so, I, so she's extremely good at spotting trends. And who's someone, from my point of view, who's interested, and more than interested, um, desperate to see a stronger role for storage, I can't think of a better person to be our key person to promote a storage technology in Ontario than someone with Annette's background and her ability to pick winners. Because guess what, big box stores, she was one of the first in Canada to see that trend. And I think she's one of the most prominent Canadians that we could possibly have to be our leader for storage. So Annette, 